So viewers, we've got some new curtains from the charity shop. Two curtains in total for the motorhome. Nice reveal there, Vicky. So there's the, the light cream at the minute. And we want to make them brown like the other ones. So I've got some Dylon, our good friend, not sponsored. And this is the espresso brown. So we're just doing that on the pre-wash. Then we're going to put that in and do the dye wash. But in other news, we've got some laminate flooring for the table because the original table idea didn't work so well, as seen in the previous video that Vicky did. And we're going to go cut scene to inside the motorhome. Oh, what's that? Oh, scissors. So you're over. You need scissors to open the scissor packet, which is the just the conundrum of the real world. It's got stick on it. Cut scene to inside the motorhome. So oh, viewers, we're now in the caravan. No, it's not a caravan, it's a motorhome. <laughs> I'll do that again. So viewers, we're now in the motorhome, because it's a motorhome, not a caravan. And Vicky's going to tear that off, I think. Because that didn't really work. It didn't look great. And it was a bit of an all-round... It was a bit bubbly. So we've got the adhesive on there, which is going to give us something to key to with the Mark II attempt to make this table a bit more modern and a bit less brown. It's currently rather brown, but sitting on these, to get you a close up, the back of the foam looks like it's kind of stuck a bit. So I'll have to pull all this off. Yeah. Yes. actually might because it's not shiny it might make it stick better anyway yeah it might do yeah not too like, many big lumpy bits yeah just just get the the bits that are adhered like that we'll leave yeah. that on but the bits that are sort of floppy we'll pull them off so viewers the big reveal is that we've got some self-adhesive vinyl floor planks in warm great wood effect from bargains and more 14 pounds and these are going to be the new table top, hopefully. You get one square meter in a pack, roughly. And they look a little bit like this. Just gonna lay them on first to see. Yeah. So, so if you do the middle one. Oh, that's gonna fit almost. I think they're gonna fit really well. What we're looking at here, viewers, is oh, we're seeing. Right. Yeah, we're going to have to trim one tile, aren't we? Yeah, but I was wondering if we needed to trim one of each, like you said, to make it even. But I don't think we do. I think put the smallest one away from where the kids sit. Yeah. Because the smallest one's most likely to get peeled off. What we're talking about here, viewers, is we don't want a slither at either end. It's very similar to tiling, so we just want it. Oh. Kind of like that, and then we'll just trim along there. No, I think we should trim both ends. Trim both ends? Yeah, yeah. I think it'll look better even. Yeah, so we can get a real good cut on one of these. Yeah. And then the it's gonna mean finishing like, cut's going to be on here it, somewhere. Yeah. But what we can we do... Put the, we want to find the, the, the exact middle. We can measure it and draw it on the back. Yeah, but I want to find the exact middle of the table first. Yeah, so let's get the tape measure and do some measuring. So that's like, oh, 57, it's about, is it two? 57.2. I think? think it's two, it looks like two to me. Yeah. Is that right at that two. edge there? Let's see, I can't see again. I think I've just moved it. Oh, no, point one. Is that right at that edge? 57.1. I don't think it is. Get, make sure that's right at that edge. Yeah, these aren't very good, you know, with these little. What do you think? Is that right on the edge now? Yeah. So it's it it's is point two. It's fifty seven point two. Yeah. Measure this end because it might not be square. Uh, yeah. Fifty seven point two and let's check out the quality control of the nineteen ninety eight Swift. This one looks exactly fifty seven, I think. So we're two mil out. There. Oh no, it's even more. Fifty seven. Because I had it what? up there. That's quite a bit. Are you sure you've got it there? Yeah, that's right on the edge. 
Oof, well it's about 0.3 that one. 57.3, so we'll go on 57.2. Cause that's easier to divide. <laughs> Is it? 57.2 divided by 2 is... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too thick to work it out also. 57.2 divided by 2 is 28.6. We, we knew that, we were just checking it definitely. So, you don't want to make a mistake, do you? So the centre line left to right on there is 28.6. 28.6 and a bit <laughs> on this end. And 1 mil because it's 1 mil out. No, half a half a mil out yeah so we'll work into a tolerance of half a millimeter <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, I need why am i looking over here i need a pencil or something we need a pencil or something just make sure that is pushed all the way in to what? there like that because you get a lot of play on tape measures yeah i'm just trying to put it at the top though so i can actually go where the centimeters are unless i don't from the other end yeah just to go where the centimeters exactly yeah are. Just, just to get it. We we're going to seal that a bit, weren't we? As well, kill it. Bit of wood filler. Twenty-eight point six, was it? Yes. Twenty-eight point six is there. Scrape the paint off. So. so that's our centre point there. So we've got a mark here. I have scraped the paint off in a lot of places. That's fine. Well, that's getting cooked up, so. Yes. Yeah. That in the end. That is in the end. Twenty-eight. And when it's not six and a half. Yeah. Is it in now. Yeah. Twenty. It's in. <laughs> Twenty-eight point six. Twenty-eight point six. and a half. Come on, this is serious stuff. This is for YouTube. <laughs> so that, there roughly, we're just going to get that on. Then we're going to draw a little centre line. The then we're going to cover the centre line straight up, so there's probably no <laughs> point in covering the centre line. Just, I want to just put them... Just on. so happens to be, that's the centre line, look, right in the middle of that, look. Oh, shit, that's probably... Yeah. Oh, they planned it, innit? Yeah. So, shall we put some more on just to see? Yeah, yeah, so we'll just uh, cover it up. Yeah, we need a slipper and some baby wipes to put this camera on. Because <laughs> I don't, have a, don't actually have a tripod in here. Yeah. Slipper and baby wipes. Uh, we'll just put you, we're going to prop you, viewers, up here. We're going to put you on a ladder and a pillow. No, you don't work. That doesn't work. Ladder and a pillow. Like that, does that matter? You're gonna... Can you see us? Can you see? Yeah, you can see, can't you? <laughs> yeah. That's gonna look really good. And then one there. It should need trimming. It's wonky there, isn't it? One there that'll need trimming, and one there that'll need trimming. Can we just measure the gap from there what, to that? there and there to there? I just think that one looks wonky. Yeah, where's the tape measure? Maybe you should do a boy measure. Boy measure. Thirteen point three. Thirteen point three. Okay. Bang These are the other square. side as well. This should also be thirteen point three, <laughs> but we don't know if these are right. Thirteen point three. Blum that. Yeah. Good girl measuring. Of course, going on before this. Thirteen point three. Okay. We've got that like millimetre perfect now. So we need to actually we need to <coughs> chop. Shall I turn it over and draw a line on it? Yeah. Let's take this one off for now. Yeah, so we need to get the measurement. We need to well, we can use the actual table as a jig, can't we? Steel rule. Look about there? Yes. 
is about not good enough. About to the nearest half millimetre, yes. Yeah, we'll try. Yes. Shall I cut it and see what it looks like? Yes. And stick it on? With our bargains and more scissors. Brand new though. Brand spankers. But joking aside, they're actually decent scissors them. So top tip from Vicky and Andy at ALW Research Team. What's up? I've thought of something. What have you thought of? I think we should put the cut edge over there. Okay. Just because it won't be as nice as the manufactured edge. Yeah, because they'll have just a massive guillotine that chops them in a machine that Maybe smells I of glue. Have, um, measured it on that edge as well. We We're going for it. People who like unsealing videos, pulling the back off some self adhesive vinyl tiling. Oh, that smells like. Does it? Mmm, smell it. Smell it, viewers. Ooh, it smells of like. My father used to do aero modelling uh, of. Yeah, and he used to do like fiberglassing and things in the spare room at our old house. And it used to smell amazing when he was like doing the glue. You know, sticking the. It was like a real thin film of the centre oh, no, lines. I'm not, I'm not a <laughs> I think it's a bit long, this. Well, if the long end's over that end, it doesn't matter. Oh, true. And we're putting an edge on it anyway, aren't we? We are. That's given us a profile to stick the edge to. So that's a good thing. What I could do with is a knife to cut that off rather than scissors. Yeah, craft knife. There's a little extra bit We'll there. get some, an extra sharp craft knife to run along there. And that is the first piece of laminate flooring on the table. Is it grippy? Like to you know to your fingers on the surface like this? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. You know, for every corner we go around, all the things on the table we don't want to come flying off. It's actually blast furnace tested that hoodie, isn't it? Show them the bit that you burnt on the uh or have you washed it washed since? It in his yeah. Just on the on like the cuff area. Vicky touched it on the uh, wood burner. That's quite sticky that. Is it? Mm. They're looking good. That's the first piece on. You're not expecting me to match patterns and stuff are you? No. No not at all. Because I did in my bathroom. Did you? Mm -hmm. I don't know how hard it would be to do now. I don't, know, how, I don't know what you get in the packet you know. Well, they're always like a third. Anyway. They're always a third out, so you use loads more material than you need. Yeah, it's just that that's got a bit of like a, a wood, thing, a woody thing on it on the join. I don't think any others do anyway, so they don't actually match up anyway. That's a really clear one there. That might be a good one to cut for the edges. Yeah, that might be good in that one without the knots and everything in it. I know it's not real, but like the knot effect. They're definitely not one. They don't fit together, do they? No. So. Nah, it's not, the patterns don't. The it's patterns. not repeating, is it? It's no, I mean the patterns don't fit here, do they? No. It's not like that. It's not, it's not that technical, is it? I don't think. No. Because anyway, if it was real floor, it'd be random knots and stuff, wouldn't it? Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't match your floorboard up. No. So I'm going to measure, but I'm going to measure at that end this time because. Yeah, to get bit, the length. It's a bit out there, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to get oh, the wait. length. Oh wait, I've turned them round now, haven't I? So the arrows are going that way. Hmm. Have I? I don't know. I think I did, because I measured I it that way and the arrows were going that way and then I turned it round and decided to put that end on there. Do so the, do the, the arrows, arrows need to go that way. Do the arrows do something? No, I've, oh, that was probably a question, viewers, I didn't probably know. Probably just make the pattern look good. If they did or not. Yeah, fair enough. But wait, no, I can't measure it from that end because it's too much on this end. Right, we're measuring this end. Yeah. We'll just stick to form. Yeah. Why does it have to stick over the edge? Yeah. Wishes look for the next part. Just cut this out, this this way as well, as well as that. Oh yeah, that's gonna be hard. It is. Might not have time to get that done today. Ah. 
I think this end down here is not really very straight. It probably isn't. The table, so that's probably as straight as I can get it. Yeah. How long is that wash for the... Um... Oh, it's 20 minutes. Why do you think it'll be done? You can go and put the dye in if you want while I carry on with it. Should we go put the dye in, viewers? Let's go. We'll go check the washer. You're on a bar still now, viewers. The wash is finished, so we're just gonna chuck this dial on in. As I said before, it's the espresso brown. That's what it looks like. Just like powder. Put that in there. These have been pre-washed. And put that in there. You don't need any soap suds or anything. 40 degrees. Um, go. Well, that's going. We can see the espresso brown mixing with the cream curtains. So let's go back and see how Vicky's getting on in the motorhome. They're going brown. Second piece of laminate is now in position. So we're now lining up for one of the harder cuts, viewers. But Vicky is not scared of such a task. Hmm. She's just going to go for it. Problem is I can't see the other end of the table here now. I can't see. I can measure it from the end because I can't see it. Yeah, because it, it like... It's overlapping. Unless... Let me just... It's like the round down of the back of an aircraft carrier flight deck. It like rounds off here. So you can't know. get a like a profile. You can do this though. Do it off the back. Just do it. So now the more tricky bit, we need to get this yeah. distance now. And I want to, I might have to draw the line on the top. That's fine. Because I want it to go that way where the rougher edge is on the edge. I want that to be straight because the rougher edge, if it's not perfect, we're going to hide it with some sort of edging, aren't we? Yes. Whereas if that's not perfect, it's going to look stupid. Yeah, we need the rough edge on you that side. It keeps popping up like it needs some adhesive spray. Or something. Put something heavy on it, you know, overnight. Yeah. Be able to get something, won't we? So that team just so that I can cut the pen off. Yes. Right, I'll do the other end and then measure it and see how close it is. That's right. Do it in like that. See that? I'm going to cut outside of that line or inside of that line. It's like 1.1, and here it is bigger. It's one half there. Eh? Is that right? It's quite a lot out, isn't it? 1.5 mil to 1.1. So, point. I don't think that's Four right. of a millimetre. Yeah, I don't think that's right. Maybe I didn't have it in far enough. Oh. Oh, some I of the... Tell where the oh, the, no, it has... Uh, some of the back in, that's yeah, not square. I folded it up there. Okay. I think I wasn't right into the thingy there, but it's hard to see at that end, because obviously your head can't go at that end. No. So I don't know when that's touching. Is it touching it now? Ah, uh, it wasn't touching it before, but that looks even bigger now. You always say measure twice, drill cut once. I'm going to have to measure it eight times. This is now mm. one point six, about nine, eight, nine, and this one's still 1.4, but it had moved, hadn't it? Shall I just. I don't know where to measure now, like 1.3 or 1.6 or 1.9 for halfway down, because I, I need to draw a. I need to draw a sort of line, don't I? That's definitely on the edge there, I can see it from there. 
when I lift it up. See if I look when I lift this side up. That's further out that. That wasn't going right in. That one needs to be bigger. I don't know why, but the ruler wasn't going as far in. Yeah, the other side was right. It's there. I bet that's 1.9. 10, uh, 2. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> We've halved it. Right, we're doing it. This is the final cut. Can't see the pen anymore. So, shall I try cutting it? Yes. I'm going to have to turn it round though because I'm right handed. Yeah. If this doesn't work, well, it's an experiment, isn't it? How much are the sheets? Fourteen pounds or something. It's not. We've got quite a lot, but we might be able to do something else with it if we don't mess them up too badly. We're not going to cla collapse the international banking system. When I've system cut this one before it. I stick it on, let me measure it there as well, because if it's the same, yeah, we'll template it. <laughs> this is hard because you want to do it in one cut because. The first board, I went from the other end and met in the middle, and that's where it went wonky. So what we need is a channel sponsorship from B and M. Also, if this is a bit wonky, you'll hate it for a few weeks, and then you'll just get used to it. I like, think I'll just get over it. Like quite my bathroom to me. floor. <laughs> that's nowhere near that mark I made, so I think this is not going to be small enough. That's more close to the 1.6 than the one. We don't really use that side of the table, so if it's a millimetre out. Oh, and we're putting edging on it. We keep forgetting we're yeah, putting edging on it. Yeah, we're going to cover this all up. Yeah, we keep it's getting hung up on these edges, but we're going to put other edging on out. We stop the kids' pencils and pens sliding off when the yes. motorhome is in motion. Hmm. So, it's not the end of the world if it's not exactly right. Well, say pencils, it's going to be a wash with sweets. As it turns out, that's pretty perfect. Is that bang on? Pretty much. <laughs> mm. Check that out, viewers. Profile bit, that. A bit rough looking, but like I said, we're putting edge on, so that's what is it. This one is lifting up. Does it? That one. Oh, it is lifting it up. It is, yes. Oh, it doesn't need lifting up. No. Let me just measure no. this on that side. That is miles out on that's that's miles out on that side. Well, it's not up there though, but it is down here. Yeah, this end wasn't so square. I'm gonna have to remeasure that. Shall I, shall I put this stick this one down and then we'll have to do yeah. that another time? Because then we've just literally got one more surface to template. I was try this yeah, do a bit of spray on the edge. Hmm. If that works, I might pull that up a little bit and put a bit under there. Yeah, we can peel them back, aren't we? Yeah, you don't want to do it too much though, because... Oh, I've done that wrong. Yeah. 180 That's degrees out. Edge, isn't it? Yeah. Do I realise that? It's kind of a before and after view because we've got the, the brown of yesteryear and the today of the bargains and more. Shame we didn't do that side first because you could have got a good shot of the seat with the table. Oh yeah, like that. Mm. Yeah. We still need to attach that seat all properly, don't we? Yeah, we haven't put the screws in at the back. It's literally held in by two screws. Hmm. One in there, and then the other one is there. Just that screw in the wall there just holds that entire back seat area on. So it's the reveal of the Dylon Espresso Brown on the cream coloured charity shop curtains. Dan, Dan, Dan! Has it worked, Vicky? I think so. It's worked. They are. They're not quite as dark as the other ones, I don't think, are they? No. But that is a thumbs up to Dylon and where did we get the curtains from? Is oh, it Sue Ryder? Sue Ryder charity shop. Yeah, for two quid. Yep. Yeah. Two curtains for two quid. And then the dial on was five ninety, I think, from Amazon. Is oh, is it tacked with the? I didn't. It's a little. These are brand new curtains. They're not even used, Mark. Check that out. 
they've still got the so they've never ever been hung so someone's bought those and then taken them to the charity shop is that a hole yeah, it was a little one, but I think... Shall I complain and ask for a discount? <laughs> <laughs> so they cost a total of £8. If we round it up. And they're going between the cab, aren't they? And the... Between the living area and the bedroom area. Yeah, and the old curtain is going to be reused to cover the pelmet and the anti-fallout of the cab area above the cab area. Yeah. Flowery brown thing. Yeah. Yes. I don't know what that's that is it. So, dial on. Yes, we like dial on. Viewers, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. And we'll see you for motorhome videos, 8 a.m. Sunday morning. Exploration videos, 4 p.m. on a Thursday. Check out Vicky's channel as well, Miss Bennett's German channel, for all your German learning needs. Bye-bye for now, viewers.